Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you can click the subscribe button and stay for a while. I upload three times a week. Get ready with me, is trying on new makeup. If it's makeup or beauty related, I will be posting it. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you could tell from the title of the video, I'm going to do an updated video on my BK Beauty brushes. I have added not a whole bunch, but we did get a collaboration from BK Beauty with Nikki LaRose. So I added those brushes to my collection and I think those are the only brushes, new brushes that is, that have come into my collection from BK Beauty since my last video. So this is the updated version of that last one because I want to say it's going to be a two year old video. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to use every single brush that I have in my collection that's from BK Beauty. All right, my lovelies, hair is pulled back. Face is already primed. I went in to the Ilia Face Milk. I enjoy it, but don't prefer it over my road skin, in case you were wondering. <laughs> I'm just trying to use some of it up because I know the road skin for sure is going to get used up. And the Hourglass Mattifying Primer for my T-Zone and the Victoria Beckham Priming Moisturizer for the perimeters of my face. So BK Beauty is a cosmetics brush brand that is owned by Lisa J. She is here on YouTube and has her own YouTube channel called Lisa J. I'm pretty sure she was a makeup artist and worked for sure for Mac, but I don't know like where she was working. Maybe it was for Mac. I think she was part of a teaching team that would travel across the United States. But if I'm mistaken, correct me down below. And in 2020, before um, coronavirus hit, she opened up her brush brand. And we're talking like her and her husband, both of them quit their jobs and started this journey. The fact that it's four years later and I feel like they are pretty successful is absolutely amazing. And I love that for her and her husband. It's just, it's, it's great to see people succeed, you know? Okay, so BK Beauty has done a couple of collaborations. The permanent line brushes look like this. They have a burgundy handle. When they do collaborations with other YouTube content creators or just with someone, they do change up the way that the brushes look. They have done one with Angie Hot and Flashy. I don't follow her channel. Um, I think I've watched parts of some of her videos, but I have heard great things. She is a, a mature skin channel and Nikki LaRose is another person they've done a brush collaboration with and her brushes look like this. The only ones I own are from Nikki LaRose and the permanent line, which is with the burgundy glossy handle. And I think those are the main points I wanted to make. Okay, let's start applying makeup, but first let me change the battery before this one tells me that it's low. Hold please. All right, so like I mentioned, I'm going to use all of the brushes. I have more eye brush. Well, it might be the same amount of face brushes as, I'm gonna try and use as many brushes as I can, but I will definitely show you every single brush that I own. I'm gonna jump into this little sample of the House Labs foundation, and I do have two different foundation brushes that I could use today. Shade is 220 for this. It's a little bit light, but it's fine. I think it should be okay. Okay, so the two brushes I have that I could use, one is from the Nikili Rose set. This is the N17. So this is actually two brushes in one. Instead of it being a duo brush, it's on the same side. So as you can see, these are the white fibers and then these are the black. These are mostly meant for creams and liquids and then this one is meant for powders. At least that's what 
Nikki LaRose mentioned in her reveal video. And then we also have this one, which is the BK Beauty 106. I much prefer this one. I have used this one and it's okay. Um, but you know what? Let's go ahead and use both of them today. So I'm going to start with the BK Beauty 106. And I feel like this is a common brush that you see a lot of people use for their foundation. There's a big one that they have, but for me personally, the bigger one is too big. This one I have more control. I just, I prefer not huge foundation brushes. I think the biggest brush I have is the powder brush and it, for my personal liking. But as you can see, it blended out the foundation beautifully. Okay, now we're gonna jump into this side. The Nikki LaRose brushes were only sold as a set, but I believe in January of this year, they were released individually. So like I mentioned, the white portion or the white bristles are for your liquids, creams, and then the dark fibers or the dark bristles are for powder. I don't love this for foundation, but it works okay. If you watch Nikki LaRose, you see her use this brush all the time, especially for her foundation application. I think this is a super neat idea. I just maybe would have changed the shape of it. I don't know. I just, I don't love it. For foundation, I have used it for cream products and I do enjoy it for that. Like for cream, cream blush mostly, but it does work if you're somebody who prefers maybe like a paddle kind of foundation brush then i do feel like you would enjoy this okay here is what the complexion is looking like and in case you were wondering all of the bk beauty bristles are synthetic bristles okay now i'm going to jump into this cali ray under eye brightener in the shade golden hour and i do have two uh, brushes that I can use for concealer. If I feel I need a tiny bit of concealer, I might go in a tiny bit with this MAC concealer, but for now, I think we're good. I have two different brushes here. One is from the Nikki LaRose set. It is the N14. And the beauty about brushes is you can use them whatever way works best for you. So even though some brushes might have powder brush, if you prefer to use that brush for something else, that is perfect okay that is the beauty about brushes you can use them whatever way works best for you these are the two that i do enjoy from the bk beauty brand that i use for concealers the most this is the bk beauty and nikki la rose n14 and this is the bk beauty 110 huge difference in size for both of these right yes 100% uh, i prefer this one for my concealer than i do this one they both work pretty well i feel like they have a very similar shape just this one is smaller so if this is too big for you maybe you'll like this one let's start with the bk beauty 110 beautiful blended out everything like a dream. Okay, now the Nikki LaRose and one four. With this one, you can be a tiny bit more precise. Now, if you are one of those people that likes to use their brushes for multiple purposes, great, I'm just not that person. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen her use this for powder contour, especially on the nose. But for me, concealer is what I use this the most for, if not just for concealer. All right, now we're gonna go into some cream products, starting with cream, bronzer, and contour. I'm gonna jump in to this Westman Atelier for my contour in Biscuit. And I don't put a lot, it's just for contouring. Couple of options. So my two main ones that I personally use for cream contour and cream bronzer are the BK Beauty 111. And as you can see, it's a fluffy, flat brush. I just had to really focus to say that and the nikki la rose and bk beauty n15 this has become a favorite brush for cream bronzer it just has the perfect density the perfect shape it's perfect for what i use it for 
They also have this one here, which is the BK Beauty 109, and it's a like a flat angled brush. The big version of this is what a lot of people love for foundation, so they came out with a mini of that version. And I mainly use this for cream blush, but you can also use it just because it hugs those areas very well, FYI. In case you look at these and you think, no, that's not, you can try this. Okay, so let's use this one from BK Beauty and Nicola Rose, the N15. Yeah, the N15 because I use this so often. And see how it just blends everything beautifully. And we'll use the other one for the bronzer. Okay, now this Tarte Man Eater bronzer in the shade sundown it's a tiny bit more neutral on me i feel like but we'll use it as a bronzer today now the bk beauty 111 and again blends everything out beautifully since it's a bigger brush it does the job a tiny bit faster before the Nikki La Rose and 105. This one was my favorite for cream bronzer. All right, that's what we're looking like. Now we're gonna jump into some cream blush and we're gonna go into this KVD Duo blush. The shade I have is Elusive Orchard number 30. And I'm going to pull out two different brushes. I already showed you the Kitten Paw one. At least that's what they call this shape. And this is a very small and precise blush brush. This is the BK Beauty 112. These are my two favorite for cream blushes, especially if I want to be really precise. So we're going to dip into the lightest shade in this KBD blush duo. And we're going to start over here. I would definitely say this is more of a packing kind of brush just because of the shape, the density. Anytime I use this, my blush applies beautifully. Okay, now we're gonna use the BK Beauty 112. And both of these fit really nicely in the pans. So if you have a smaller pan, this would be perfect. I also use this for powder blush and it works great. Okay, now it's time to powder my face because we are going to do an eye look with the eye brushes that I do have from BK Beauty. The brush that I'm going to use is the BK Beauty 104. As you can see, it's a big boy, it's a big fluffy brush. Honestly, when I first got this and the way the brush was like, it was a lot smaller. It's pretty big now that I've used it a tiny bit too big for my personal liking, but I still use it quite a bit. For my under eyes, I do not ever powder with a brush. I always use a puff, but they do have a brush for under eyes that they recently launched, I wanna say within the last year and a half. And that is the BK Beauty 113. This is a flat powder brush, so see how it's fluffy but flat? This fits perfectly under your eyes. Um, I don't know if I've seen people actually use it for that, but this is meant for powdering your under eyes, FYI. I'm gonna use the big boy. RCMA Makeup Loose Powder. Shade Amber, I think is the name. And as you could see, it's a huge brush, so it does the job beautifully and quickly. They do have bigger brushes, but this is already big enough for me. Some people use this for powder bronzer or powder blush. It's just too big for me to use for that, so I don't. Okay, this is a brush from the Nikki La Rose and BK Beauty collaboration, the N16. This is a multi-purpose brush. As you could see, it's probably a good one that you can use for your concealer. I have used it for that, but I did not love it. You could probably also use this to really contour your nose. I don't contour my nose, so that also wasn't something that I wanted to use this for. Instead, I found the perfect use for this brush, and it's mainly what I use it for, and that is to blend out my eye 
primer. It's the perfect shape, blends out everything evenly and you can see the bristles. It's like there's longer and shorter ones in there. It's just, it, I love this for blending out my eye primer. It just does an amazing job. And that was the Anastasia eye primer. It fits perfectly on my eyelid. It's just perfect for this purpose. All right, for the eye brushes, um, I feel like when it comes to eye brushes, it could be very case by case, just because we all have different eye shapes. Some have more lid space, some have a deeper set eye. Like I feel a brush that I would use, say for my crease, might not be what you prefer. So these are all the eye brushes that I have from BK Beauty. Three of them are from the Nikki LaRose set. This flat one that's angled, which is the one that I use the least. <laughs> a lot of people love using brushes like these, but uh, yeah, for me, I rarely use that one. This one, which is the N13, and for me, this is like a crease brush. This one, which is like a flat, fluffy shader brush. This is what I would use to smudge out to the outer corner. Um, this one here is the 202, a super extra fluffy crease brush. I think I have two of those. Nope, this is the 201, which is similar shape, but not as pointed. Another like super fluffy crease brush. Okay, so I do have two of the 202. Um, I have these flat shader brushes. This is the BK Beauty 203. And I do use these from time to time. I prefer to use those for like blending or if I wanna be just really precise at where I'm blending. This angled flat, fluffy brush, which is the BK Beauty 205. I do enjoy this for my outer corner. And this small one here, which is the 207. This one is good for the inner corner, or if you really want to smudge out the outer corner, or if you just wanna be really precise here in the outer corner, but I do enjoy this. And one of my favorite eye brushes from BK Beauty, which is the 204. It's a smaller version of this one from the Nikki LaRose set, except I prefer this shape and size better. You could just be more precise, especially when you're really smudging out the outer corner. Okay, we're gonna use the Geodes palette from What's Up Beauty because I have not played with this gorgeous palette. Um, and I'll probably speed through this so that this video is not super long. BK Beauty and Nikki LaRose and 103. BK Beauty 202. NYX Glitter Glue. MAC Fix Plus, BK Beauty 207, dip the brush. Okay, as you can see, I have eyebrows and mascara on. I went into the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil and the Kali Ray mascara. I am going to, sh I forgot that I was going to do this, so hopefully I can still do it without messing up my mascara, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Duo eyeliner. One is a nude and the one that I'm going to use is a brown. And this is going to go in the outer corner. I'm going to smudge it so that you could see what I mean with this little brush here. This is just to make it look like I have a smoked out eyeliner. So the BK Beauty 204, and I just smudge, 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 smudge. All right, there is the smudged out eyeliner. 
For some, it might not seem like anything changed, but for me, I feel like it made all the difference. Okay, now we're gonna jump in to powder bronzer and we're gonna use this YSL All Hours Powder Bronzer. It's a new launch and the review on this should be up before this video. Uh, 02 Buff Dune is the shade I'll be dipping into. Okay, powder bronzer, I feel like everyone is different. You either like a super fluffy big brush or a smaller more precise brush i'm kind of in between i see a lot of people using a big one like this great for you but for me this is too big but this one here the nikki la rose one uh, and one five i used this for cream and i do not like to dip brushes that i use for creams into powders that's how you create hard pan so if i'm going to use a brush for a cream or liquid product that's the only purpose i'm going to use it for i mean you can clean in between uses and when i do that which is not often i use this daily brush cleanser spray from sephora you literally just spray either the brush itself although it says on here not to spray your brush directly but use a paper towel or i use a towel spray it and then clean it and that should be like a quick clean it's something i use in between washing brushes i'm not going to use this today I did clean my BK Beauty 111, um, so this is dry, but I don't know if I'm going to use this. I have seen people use this for powder bronzer as well, and they enjoy it, also for powder blush. But I think I'm gonna use this one from the Nicola Rose set, the N17, and use the dark bristle side. I already applied it on this side because I did film a reel, but let's apply it on the other side so I can show you product on there I do love the concept about this brush I just haven't found to love it for foundation application I feel like maybe this should have been a tiny bit bigger I don't know I would love to know your thoughts especially if you did pick up this brush set from BK Beauty but it's working really well for my powder bronzer and it's allowing for a precise application. I have used the lighter bristle sides for cream blush and you can probably use this for cream bronzer. But for right now, I'm enjoying it for my powder bronzer. Okay, that looks beautiful. Now we're gonna jump into the same brush on the same side and use it for powder blush. I did purchase the new Guerlain Terracotta Blushes. This is in Deep Coral. Um, you know what? Let's use this one, Deep Nude. I did wipe it on my towel. I did not use the spray, I just wiped it. So let's use this. Like I mentioned, I have used it for blush before and it works well. They do have other blush brushes. Like I mentioned, I have used this uh, 112, but this one has cream product on it. I have seen people use this one, the 104 for blush. This is way too big for my personal taste. And I've also seen people use the 111 for powder blush. But this one's actually working very well. And I can be more precise with my application. If you've been part of my channel, <laughs> For quite some time you already know that i love precision i like to have control of how my makeup applies and i feel like when the brush is too big it's a lot harder to have control like i said personal preference that's just how i enjoy it okay just one more brush and we are done i feel like this video is going to be so long apologies in advance but kind of necessary because of all the brushes I use. Okay, so I'm going to jump into this Westman Atelier liquid drop things. What is this called? Super Loaded Drops? It's basically a liquid highlighter, almost like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and all the other dupes that you see out there. Um, I enjoy this. It's really pretty. I think I have Paul the Peche. Yeah, let me mix it. And I apply it to the back of my hand. And my favorite brush, absolute favorite brush of all time for cream and liquid highlighter is this BK Beauty 113. The shape, the bristles, just everything works 
perfect. So I apply the product to the back of my hand and then I dip the brush into it and I just apply. You see that? Ugh. I've used this with every single cream, every single liquid highlighter I have, and it works beautifully. If you're somebody who does not like to use their fingers when it comes to makeup application, but you love liquid and cream highlights, which I feel usually tend to be the more on the natural side kind of highlights, which I love. <laughs> It has not failed me at all. I have tried using other brushes for this same purpose. It just doesn't work the same. It just doesn't, but do you see that? Mm, beautiful. Okay, let me finish off. I think I just need lips. I'll do that off camera. I'll jump back on, give you some final thoughts on BK Beauty as a makeup brush brand, and yeah. All right, my lovelies, makeup is nice and done. For the eyebrows, I finished them off with the Make Beauty Brow Gel. And then I did use one more brush. It's the N12 from the Nicola Rose set. And I used this to highlight my brow bone because it just fits so perfectly in there. I went into the What's a Beauty Serengeti Highlighter in Safari Sunset. For the lips, I have on Dominique Cosmetics Lip Liner in Nudie and my uh, Gucci lipstick. I'm pretty sure it's the matte form formulation in the shade we met in Argentina. Okay, so BK Beauty brushes. I have definitely seen people comment saying that they are too expensive for what they are. They are a tiny bit on the pricier side and I'm saying that because when I first heard about BK Beauty brushes and I went to go look at the price, I was like, whoa, <laughs> it's kind of expensive there. A lot of these brushes I actually picked up during sales because they do have like 20% off sales during holidays. Uh, and the only one that I think I picked up full price was the Nicola Rose set. But I do feel like they are worth it. I feel like a lot of these brushes have become staple brushes and brushes that I use every single time I do my makeup. Um, if I'm not using them, it's because I'm rotating my brushes out. I like to do that so that I don't feel wasteful. If I had to, I guess, recommend what to invest in first, whether eye brushes or face brushes, for me personally, it would be face brushes. Only because I feel that if your skin your base looks banging or on point, then the rest is kind of going to look beautiful. <laughs> uh, that's just my logic of thinking. But I pulled out my top favorite face brushes and the N15 from the Nicola Rose set. I love this. I absolutely love it and I use this every single time I do my makeup. You can use this for powder bronzer as well, but I use this specifically for cream bronzer and cream contour. I have also seen one person mention that they use this for powdering their face and that it works absolutely amazing. Like I mentioned in my video, that's the beauty about brushes. You can use them for whatever you like, whatever works best for you. But this one has become an absolute favorite. Okay, another one is the BK Beauty 111. I prefer the N15 from the Nicola Rose set, but this one comes in second place when it comes to cream bronzer and cream contour. This big uh, concealer brush, it's the 110. I'm pretty sure this is called like a large concealer brush and I love it. The shape, the size. For some of you, this might look too big, but for me, this is perfect for concealer. That is the only thing I use this for is for concealer but I can definitely see you using this for like cream contour maybe even cream blush um maybe even well it might be too big for highlighter but this one for me concealer perfect this one like I said from uh the Nicola Rose set the N16 this is my go-to when it comes to blending out my eye primer I have definitely had issues to where I don't blend my eye primer either correctly or enough or whatever the case may be and my eyeshadow looks patchy when I use this every single time I have no issues so this one's a favorite for that. Seems like an odd one to pick as a favorite, but it just is. Okay, this one, I have been mentioning this one for so long, the 113 for cream highlight and liquid highlighter. Honestly, the most perfect brush 
for those items, especially if you don't like using your fingers. And last but not least, this one, which is the BK Beauty 109. It just feels like the perfect brush for cream blush, cream contour, cream bronzer. It's perfect. It's the right size, the density, everything about this. And a lot of times in pans that seem too small, this fits perfect in there. So this one is another favorite as far as face brushes go. Okay, I pulled out three eye brushes that are my top favorite ones. Um, these two, they're kind of the same concept. One is from the Nicola Rose set and the other one is from their permanent collection, the N13. And as you could see, it's long, but you can definitely use this to buff out your crease or be a tiny bit more precise. Uh, and then this one is a very similar shape, except this one has a tiny bit more bristles and it's more flared out. Same concept, use it the same way. You can be a tiny bit more precise, but you can really buff out your crease. Uh, these are the two that I pick up the most when it comes to BK Beauty eye brushes. And my absolute favorite is this one, the uh, 204, the little smudger brush. Honestly, such a perfect brush. I never would have guessed that if I only had to pick one, favorite eye brush from BK Beauty, it would be this one. I love the length, the bristles, everything about this brush is perfect. So those are my three favorite eye brushes. I feel like BK Beauty, when it comes to brushes, they know what they're doing. <laughs> They know what they're doing. They've grown so much. Super awesome to see, especially since they started off with just Lisa J, her husband, and I think one employee. And now I believe they have 20, which is absolutely amazing. I would love to know if you have tried BK Beauty brushes or if you are looking to try BK Beauty brushes. Um, if you've tried them, what do you think? Do you enjoy them? Do you think they're overhyped and cost too much? Let me know. I love talking to you all in the comments. I 100% enjoy BK Beauty brushes, even more when I get them at a discount. So next time they have a sale, check it out, pick up a couple of brushes and see if the aesthetics and style of the brushes are for you. And then next time they have another sale, pick up more brushes. But so far, none of them have disappointed me and yeah, Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out. I thought it was time to update my last BK Beauty brush video. I've definitely been getting a couple of comments here and there in the past couple of weeks. And people said that my BK Beauty brush video was super helpful. So this is an updated version of that. Okay, well thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea all the comments, all the likes. If you use my links to shop, it truly does mean the world to me. With that being said, do not forget to give the video a big thumbs up. And also do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you all on my next video. Bye.